It's been six long years since the Fremantle Dockers won a derby and remarkably on that day in 2015, Justin Longmuir was helping coach the Eagles. Just another bizarre slice of history there, J-Lo, for you. Well, yeah, it is probably more co- coincidental than bizarre, but um, yeah, I've been on both sides of the win-loss ledger for both clubs, so yeah, we get another opportunity this week to see what side we finish on. Yeah, you're the right man for the job. Apart from kicking a winning score, what needs to happen for you to break that 10-game losing streak? Well, I think we just need to consistently play our brand. I don't think this year um, we've played our way consistently across four quarters, so that's something we'll be searching for this weekend. Now, will you have Brendan Cox to help you? Yeah, he's genuine 50-50. Um, he's did a pretty good job of rolling that ankle, so yeah, we'll, we'll wait and see how he progresses through the week, and we'll give him to Sunday to, to see if he comes up. He's a very important player for us, so we'll give him as much time as possible. Any chance Joel Hamling could be back, or even Alex Pierce? No, not at this stage. Uh, we're happy with the progression through uh, their rehab, but it's going to come a little bit too quick this week. Um, we're hoping for maybe next week or the week after they'll either start um, joining full training and, and progressing through the um, rehab program. Well, that's good news, but you didn't seem too concerned by Nat Fife kicking one goal 12 behind so far this year. How does he feel about that? Oh, he's obviously frustrated um, by his execution in front of goal, but he also understands that it's just one part of his game he needs to work on. Um, the rest of his game is in really good order, so... Um, yeah, keep doing what he's doing to get the shots and um, I'm really confident that they'll start going through the big sticks. And what do you expect from a team that's been thrashed by 97 points? Simo even called the players weak. I, I expect them to get back um, to be really strong in the contest and bring their pressure. Um, you know, we're gonna, not going to get fooled by one game on the weekend. They've played some really good footy this year um, and played some really good footy at Optus so we're going to have to be at our best to beat them. And you wouldn't be falling for the Nick Nats out of form line either, would you? No, I haven't read any, anything into that. No, he's, he's a fair player and we'll be preparing for his best as well. <laughs> How many of your fans will get into the game, do you think? you think you'll be able to hear the Purple Army? Oh, we're really driven by the government on that. Um, and we'll wait and see what they, they say on Saturday. But it would be nice to see some of the Purple Army there. Um, yeah, but we'll just have to wait and see what the government does. All right, should be a belter. Thanks for joining us, Justin, and all the best on Sunday. Thanks, Barra.